Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today I have a general message for you guys. This is going to be a random collective message that somebody out there needs to hear. Whoever needs to hear this will come across this reading. Please remember that this is just a general message. It may not resonate for every single person. And this is not a twin flame reading unless that does come up, okay? So let's get straight into this and find out what spirit wants you to know. Okay. Okay, guys. So I can see that there is somebody here, okay? And it's like they're offering, okay, this could have been in the past when you first met this person, whoever this resonates for, or you may have just recently met somebody that basically is saying that, you know, they want to commit, okay? They're ready for happily ever after. I'm even getting in there saying things like they're looking for somebody just like you. Um, you know, you tick all their boxes. Um, this person definitely is sweet talking you. Um, I do see this person, they are saying this, but they're not really meaning it at all. Um, this person, their intention is to get one thing out of you, okay? Like a sexual encounter. This could have already happened or um, this is happening now, okay? And it's a very specific story I'm getting to. Um, I'm getting that this person, okay, I'm hearing Prince Charming, like they come out and they said everything that you wanted to hear, okay? They highly manipulated you, said things that they were not able to um, show up with. They may have even lied about things, okay, to try to impress you, to try to get something out of you here as well. Um, I do see this person um, showing up and everything that you've ever wanted. But the thing is, this is this person's tactic to get what they want out of people. <coughs> um, I do see that this person's not a very loyal person. I do see they came off as somebody that was like, I'm so loyal. And I am looking for a happily ever after moment and you tick all my boxes. And this person literally said all this stuff to you, okay, that they did not mean because they wanted to get one thing out of you, okay? Yeah, this person's not able to take things to the next level because you're dealing with somebody that's very immature. They're sort of scared of commitment, okay? They... They juggle. They juggle, okay? Like, they have different people. I'm not saying that this person's in a commitment or a marriage or anything like that. But I do see that this person likes to keep many options, okay? Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm hearing four different options, okay, for some of you. Like, this person likes to keep options. Um, Yeah, just in case one walks away, it's like they have a backup, right? Like a plan B here, right? Yeah, this person... Mm. You're dealing with somebody that's very petty, very immature. It's like they say things that they don't mean to get what they want, okay? They use this tactic with everyone. They come off as really charming. I am getting, um, yeah, it's like they have a bundle of people, okay, on their phone or something they can call and, yeah, like, basically get something out of. You're definitely dealing with somebody that is not honest, okay? This person's like a con man, right? Um, you literally met them and they manipulated you into thinking that you were the one for them really quickly, that they were falling in love with you really quickly, um, that they wanted to commit, okay, that you were everything that they've... Yeah, this person definitely um, was doing a lot of sweet talking, right? That's their tactic. 
That's literally their tactic. I'm getting this person extremely charming, okay? Um, whenever they meet somebody, they come off as extremely uh, charming, right? And I'm getting it work, right? Like, it worked once, and this is how they get their people. Like, instead of committing to one person, this person feels like they want an abundance of people. They want all different options, okay, just in case one walks away or something, right? Or one's not available. Oh my goodness, you could be dealing with a Libra, you could be dealing with an Aquarius or a Scorpio. It's like this person might have made a lot of promises, okay, that they're not able to fulfill. They're also... There was no intention to fulfill them. It was just like they talk out of their ass, basically. They lie to get what they want, okay? And once they get it, they ghost. Or maybe they try to, to like, have this ongoing thing where it's just sex or friends with benefits. You could be dealing with a Virgo here. You could be dealing with strong Scorpio. For some of them, okay, they basically... Oh, my God. Yeah, it's like they um, come off as really loving, really charming, okay? Like, they're this, like, Prince Charming that's there and wants to commit to you and is here to save the day or something. They come off really loving, really charming. Like, they want to commit to you. Like, they're in love with you. Like, they've never seen anybody like you. They're like this to everyone, okay? Um, and then it's like they're looking for sex, okay? Or some type of, like, sexual connection here. And if they don't get it, they ghost. And then if they do get it, they ghost, right? So, yeah, you're dealing with a master manipulator. Master manipulator that comes off as very, wow. So this person literally could, mm -hmm. so this is, um, this person could literally, you know, they could have got something off you or maybe they didn't. Either way, they ghosted. Now they're coming back, okay, and they're going to try to manipulate you again. Um, if you guys did have some type of, like, sexual um, encounter together, then they're going to come in trying to manipulate again with this, like, loving, like, oh, I want to, like, you know, marry you. Like, they're literally going to do this again, okay? Um, wow. I'm getting that this time it's going to fail though. Like, it may have worked the first time, but this time it's going to fail. Like, you're going to see right through, uh, excuse me, right through, um, maybe your name is Stu, um, <laughs> right through your, um, you're going to see right through their manipulation, like, they're literally going to play the same game that they already tried to do or they've already done to you, right? Um, they, this person does not learn. They do not learn. I do see that, um, yeah, you are not about to do that again. Yeah, because you know this person has no intention of taking things to the next level. This person called... Person causes nothing but burden and stress in your life, okay? Or they did that time, okay? Um, yeah, so I am saying that you're somebody that's looking for um, like commitment, okay? And you were telling this person that you wanted commitment, and they were, oh yeah, I want to commit, you know? And yeah, it's like they ghosted you or they left you out in the cold. You could be dealing with a Pisces. Yeah, it's like things never went to the next level. Um, things just like stayed at this. It's like they only want sex or something, but they like this with everyone. And then they ghosted. Like they did not take things to the next level here. Yeah, you're dealing with somebody that is selfish. Selfish? Stubborn, they don't really care who they hurt either. They keep options. They may have a third party, but I'm getting that they have multiple third parties, to be honest. Hmm. 
Mm, interesting, guys. I do see that, yeah, they came in, you know, looking for one thing here. But now they're stuck on you and it's like they're, I don't know what you did to them, but um, they're stuck on you. They're in love with you. They can't stop thinking about you. It's like, yeah, they can't get over you here. So you could actually have a soul connection with this person um, and they can't stop thinking about you now. This person's like obsessing over you. They feel these feelings for you, but they're trying to hide it. Yeah, because you are dealing with somebody. I mean, with the devil here and the king of swords in reverse and the six of pentacles in reverse. Like, you're definitely dealing with somebody here that, um, they don't really care who they hurt, right? They don't really care at all who they hurt. Um, this person is like a master manipulator that will say anything to get what they want, okay? Um, definitely these two cards together, they, they could be narcissistic, okay? Um... So, I don't know, this person, I'm getting there could be two people here that you're dealing with now. Like, you could be seeing somebody else now, and they're watching you, and they hate it. They literally hate it, but they're not doing anything about it. Wow, this person's literally falling in love with you. They've fallen in love with you and it's like they don't really know what to do about it now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, yes, yeah, so as I was saying, like, it's like, I don't know what you did to them, but they have strong feelings here for you. This definitely could be a soul connection, maybe twin flames, maybe soul, just a soul mate. Um, but this person's like obsessing over you. They cannot let you go. And it's not in this person's character to be this way. Um, I'm hearing the name Michelle. Um, but it's not in this person's character to be this way, right? Like, as I said before, this person, they're not very honest, okay? They definitely could have narcissistic behaviors. Um, and it's like they know it, okay? They also know that they're like a master manipulator. And they know that... They've already come and tried to, like, either they tried to use you, okay, or they did use you, okay, and then they ghosted, okay. There was, when you guys first met, this person was obviously a player, okay. They said things they didn't mean, they did not show up, they realise that now. And they don't really know what to do because they don't think that you're going to give them another chance, I'm hearing fake, this person's completely fake, they also act a complete different way to how they feel, um, I don't know, this person comes off as very cold, um, and it's like you make them feel again, okay, so they could have had like a closed heart chakra, and now it's like you're opening it up again, um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Cancer, But you are dealing with somebody that is doing a lot of, you know, knowing how they feel but hiding it, denying it, trying to live the same lifestyle of having different options, okay, and not settling down. This person is extremely scared of commitment. It's like this person is trying to convince themselves that they do not feel the way that they do here. They even may have tried to do something to hurt you, to make you walk away from this because this connection became really overwhelming for them. I'm hearing igloo. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe this person's really cold. I don't know how that's going to resonate. If it does, let me know. Um, 
but yeah, this person realizes that you really respect honesty, okay, and loyalty. Um, there's something about you where this person's sort of intimidated by you because you may have called them out on their bullshit. Yeah, this person's extremely immature. I'm hearing the name Matthew. This person's extremely immature. They feel like there is no hope that you are going to take this person back because it's like you preach loyalty or honesty in this person. Definitely is the opposite of the person that you want. Like, I'm getting that they acted that... The, like, they acted that they were that way to get something out of you. Um, but this person's already showed you their true colours. They feel like there is no hope that you're going to take them back. I'm hearing Renee. You could be dealing with a Leo or an Aquarius. So for some of you, you may be seeing somebody else um, that is actually loyal, okay? If you're not seeing somebody else that's actually loyal, I do think somebody that is loyal coming into your life really quickly here. Um, and they're showing up and they're letting you know that they want to be with you, okay? It's like this other person causing a lot of confusion, holding their feelings back. They're really manipulative, okay? They've got a lot of healing to do. But there's somebody here that does want commitment, um, and it's like, you know, they're really clear on their intention, right, with you, like, they want to be with you, and they're letting you know this, okay, they're not playing these games like this other person, um, so they're coming, wow, you could be manifesting this, okay, there's definitely somebody here coming in, um, and offering happily ever after, And I'm getting that if this is happening, this is making this other person come back as well because they do not want to miss their opportunity here, okay? It's like, it's making them take action towards you. And you're going to have some type of decision to make here. Wow. King and Queen of Pentacles. And Ten of Cups in the middle, guys. Ten of Cups in the middle here, okay? That's how it's showing out on this spread. And I do see that there's a King of Cups in reverse here. So I do see that there's a decision to be made, but you're going to be making the decision to be with this Twin Flame, okay? Or Soul Connection, right? Because you feel like you're meant to be with this person. Um, they feel, okay, that they're meant to be with you. Um, whether this person that was like this narcissist in the past if that's the twin flame then that's what you're going to choose or if it's this new person that's come in that could be your twin flame too okay this could be your real twin flame and for some of you this was just like some type of you know catalyst into your spiritual awakening and it's like this person if you really think about it this person doesn't really show up like you may feel you have this soul connection with them and it may be a karmic okay for some of you or it may be a soul connection but they if you look at them okay you're way more mature than them you're way more ahead of them in life okay they definitely live their life from a selfish viewpoint okay they don't really care who they hurt um for some of you i do see that a real twin flame is coming in okay um somebody that you're meant to be with here with this happily ever after i picked up the wrong card there but you're meant to have this happily ever after, right? And you're manifesting this as well. I am seeing that once, um, if you make, if you have this decision to make right now, okay, I do see that the decision you make leads to commitment, happily ever after marriage, okay? Um, with the Ten of Cups here and the Hierophant. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm also getting that 
for some of you, if this person has you blocked or if you have this person blocked, um, that there's still going to be communication from this person. They're going to find out a way to communicate. Um, they're also... Somebody here, okay, so this person, this narcissistic person, they're really frustrated here, right? Because they're watching you and they feel like you're moving on. And this is inspiring them to take action, though. Yeah, I'm getting that. This past person, okay? So you may be getting engaged really quickly, okay? Um, this past person is going to come in with this. Um, they're also going to want to propose because this other person... Yeah, it's like now they're starting to compete, okay, with this other person, right? This is not going to resonate for everyone. So if it doesn't resonate, don't stress out. But I do see that you have um, this decision to make, okay? And again, there's two people. Take the energy, how it resonates, with who the twin flame is and who the other person is, okay? Um, I do see there's soul connections with both these people, okay, but one to karmic, right? Yeah, so, okay, so this person going to see you talk to somebody else, whether you're talking to them now, for some of you, you already met this person, okay? Some of you, you're already engaged, everything. Um, now, this person's going to come in. It, this is inspiring them to take action because they don't want to miss their chance with you. Now, this person feels a very strong connection here to you. Um, they're obsessed with you. Um, so they're taking action here. They are a little bit nervous because of their actions in the past and how they've come off, but they are taking action and they're taking action quick and this is inspiring them, okay? Especially if you're dealing with a Capricorn or a Leo here. Um, so that's all I have for you. I really hope this resonated. If it did, please let me know in the comments. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.